we are waking up to also a chilly Christmas. 52 degrees right now, but Angie, if I was listening correctly, it's going to get even cooler. So if we have a fireplace like the one behind you, <laughs> maybe it's time to use it. Yeah, I think so. We don't get many chances to use that fireplace here in South Florida. Today definitely will be one of them. It does get you in the spirit too. It's just a Christmas mood, right? Just like this background. Uh, here's what's going on. We do have some cool air that's in place, but as Kristen mentioned, it's a whole lot colder in many other places across the, the country. Minus three for what it feels like in Minneapolis, Chicago, four degrees below, even as far south as Dallas and Houston, just into the 30s. Teens for Atlanta and for us, we're into the 50s, but that is not the coolest temperature we will see in the next 24 to 48 hours. We're going to get a whole lot colder. I'll show you just how low we go here in a moment, but first let's focus on what we're dealing with out the door at this hour. 54 degrees, a couple of showers working through. We did see a front working into this area overnight last night and finally pushing to the south, but it still has left uh, a couple of showers that we'll have to deal with. I'll show you first alert Doppler 6000 here in a moment, but cloudy skies will be left behind that system or that that front as it continues south and winds are already out of the northwest. So you can see why our temperatures have fallen into the 50s. This afternoon we struggle to warm up. We only get to 62 degrees and I think maybe a couple of hours is where we'll last at that temperature. But otherwise it's going to be windy. It's going to be chilly and you'll notice that we've only had five years in South Florida where our temperatures are high temperatures. I should say were at or below 62 degrees and of course this is one of them. Now we're not quite as cold as the coldest ever which was in 1983, where the high temperature was just 51 degrees. I don't think we're going to see 51 anytime soon in South Florida for a high temperature, but we will take the low 60s for a cool change for our Christmas day. Let's look ahead to the to your weekend, though. So here's your Friday, of course, your Christmas day. Temperatures in the upper 50s to low 60s by the time we hit peak heating. But early tomorrow morning, we're into the 40s. I think some, maybe a few, could dip into those upper 30s. 40s, though, is going to be widespread. 50s, low 60s, more likely for folks in the Keys, but as we head into the afternoon hours Saturday, we will get back into the 60s. Now, not quite as cool for Sunday morning into the 50s, a few into the upper 40s, but you get the picture that cool air is in place and it's staying in place for a little while. There's those showers that I mentioned on first Lord Doppler 6000. Just a few of them uh, speckled across the area, but on the way out, if you're in Miami Dade, similar story for southeastern uh, portions of Broward County as well. And behind that, not a whole lot to talk about, just some sunshine for us to deal with. You can see your Friday is full of it with those clouds moving out, and then eventually we will be dealing with much quieter conditions here as we get into your Monday. So recap of that next couple of days, uh, things looking uh, quite chilly for you, uh, especially early tomorrow morning. 64 degrees, though, for the afternoon hours tomorrow. By the time we finish out our Sunday, low 50s, low 70s in the afternoon hours, and then we get back into our next work week with seasonal temperatures. Those don't last for long. Look at that 80 degree temperature arriving by Thursday, Kristen.